Welcome to our video exploring the intriguing realm of copyright in street art. Today, we delve into the debate sparked by street art and Paula Delphin Gaetan asserting their ownership of the mural titled Humanity. The question arises, does street art, like murals in public spaces, warrant copyright protection? Let's unravel this complex and evolving discussion together. A legal showdown ensues in India over a Mexican artist's mural, triggering a heated debate on intellectual property rights in street art. Can street art truly be copyrighted? What about murals adorning public spaces? Enter the gripping legal saga surrounding the mural Humanity, currently playing out at the Delhi High Court. Here's the breakdown. The clash between the Street Art Foundation's mission to democratize art for those unable to visit galleries and a general insurance company's commercial appropriation of a mural raises significant questions about the boundaries of artistic ownership and commercial utilization in public spaces. The issue of copyright protection for street art has been thrust into the spotlight following a legal battle surrounding a mural titled Humanity, painted on a public building in Mumbai. The Delhi High Court is set to examine this contentious matter, triggered by insurance company Echo General Insurance use of the mural in its advertising campaign earlier this year. Now let's discuss facts of this issue. In February, ACO featured a photograph of the mural as part of its promotional hoarding, further sharing it across their social media platforms. Promptly, ST plus Art India Foundation, known for its work in public art projects, and muralist Paula Delphin Gaetan, the creator of Humanity, issued a legal notice demanding the removal of the hoarding and associated social media posts containing images of the mural. ACO, in response, defended its actions by asserting that the use of the mural falls under fair use, citing its location in a public space accessible to all. Mexican artist Paula Delphin brought life to a 40-feet mural, Sassoon Docks in Mumbai, depicting the hard-working women of the dockyard. Operating under the name ST Plus Art, they aimed to invigorate public spaces, evidenced by various projects such as Lodhi Public Art District in Delhi, Swachh Bharat Mural Initiatives and Endeavours with the Delhi Urban Shelter Board, among others, created amidst a collaboration between ST Plus Art India Foundation, the Mumbai Port Authority and Asian Paints. This stunning mural became a focal point of controversy over its ownership rights. The plaintiffs, that is, ACO General Insurance and Paula Delphin Gaetan, deeply involved in rejuvenating urban spaces through artistic interventions, highlighted their significant role in infusing artistry into India's metropolitan cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad and Bengaluru. The ST Plus Art India Foundation, committed to infusing art into urban landscapes, joined forces with Gaetan to file a lawsuit against ACO General Insurance. Their claim alleged copyright and moral rights violations over Gaetan's mural. Their contributions extended to monumental murals, including India's largest mural, Dada Saheb Falke, on Mumbai's MTNL building and the tallest mural of Gandhiji at the Delhi Police Headquarters. Plentiff too, a Mexican muralist, had a rich portfolio of murals across various global locations, including New Delhi and Chennai. The focal point of the legal dispute was the mural titled Humanity, a collaborative creation by the plaintiffs governed by an artist agreement from 3rd October 2022. This agreement vested joint copyright and associated intellectual property rights in the plaintiffs for all artistic creations resulting from their collaborative projects. Notably, no rights related to humanity had been licensed to any third party, granting any one of the plaintiff the authority to safeguard against any infringements on the copyrighted work, while they were obligated to provide necessary support in this regard. In February 2023, the defendant, that is, Echo General Insurance, utilized the entire mural in a hoarding as part of its welcome change advertising campaign, prompting the plaintiffs to issue legal notices on February 14, 2023 and March 3, 2023, demanding the removal of the hoarding and associated online posts. In response, the defendant, through a letter dated 3rd April 2023, claimed exemption from infringement, citing sections 52, subsection I, clause T, and 52, subsection I, clause U of the Copyright Act 1957, section 52, clause T and U of the Copyright Act 1957 state the following exemptions. 
Clause D allows for the creation or publication of paintings, drawings, engravings or photographs of sculptures or artistic works permanently located in public places or accessible premises. Clause U permits the inclusion of permanently located artistic works in cinematograph films or the inclusion of other artistic works as part of the film, provided they serve as background elements or are incidental to the main subject represented in the film. Art in the Street In the era of blurred lines between creator and creation, the legal tussle surrounding Delphin's mural reflects the evolving dynamics of intellectual property rights in the street art. ST Plus Art Foundation aimed to democratize art for those unable to access galleries beautifying public spaces with artwork. However, a clash arose when Aco General Insurance utilized Delphin's mural in an advertising campaign without permission, leading to a Delhi High Court battle. Now let's talk about the legal standoff. While the court ordered the removal of social media posts featuring the mural, it refrained from delivering a verdict on whether Aco's usage qualified as fair use. Represented by top intellectual property law firm Anand & Anand, ST Plus Art Foundation contends that commercial utilization of public art without consent undermines the essence of their efforts in urban regeneration. The plaintiffs based their claims on two primary rights concerning the artwork humanity, asserting copyright under Section 2, Subsection C, Clause I and 13, Subsection 1, Clause A of the Copyright Act 1957 and asserting moral rights as recognized in Section 57 of the Act. The defendant, a subsidiary of Aku Technology and Services Private Limited, an insurance technology startup catering to the insurance sector, faced allegations from the plaintiffs regarding the unauthorized reproduction of the mural originally created in collaboration with the Mumbai Port Authority. Aku vehemently denies foul play, citing Section 52, Subsection 1, Clause T of the Copyright Act 1957, asserting fair use of the mural. Their legal counsel argued that since the artwork resides in a public space, Sassoon Docks in Mumbai, it's exempt from copyright infringement. ST Plus Art fires back, contending that the mural's temporary placement at Sassoon Docks doesn't align with the fair use exemption under Section 52, Subsection 1, Clause T. They highlight the mural's prominence in the ads, emphasizing its role as a central feature rather than mere background art. The recent legal battle over the use of a mural in an advertisement has sparked deliberation on fair dealing and copyright under the provisions of the Copyright Act 1957. The court addressed the issue of whether the defendant's actions constituted fair dealing and examined the nature of the advertisement that featured the mural in question. The court observed that the hoarding incorporating the mural was unmistakably an advertisement. While the defendant had agreed to remove the physical hoarding, its presence persisted on online platforms. The court emphasized that despite the advertisement's alignment with the social cause, it couldn't be presumed that the mural fell within the public domain, especially considering its use for commercial purposes. Acknowledging the defendant's willingness to take down Instagram and other online postings featuring the mural, the court issued a directive. Within 72 hours of the order, the defendant was instructed to remove all such listings. Additionally, the plaintiffs were tasked with providing any URLs displaying the mural on the defendant's post for further action. The court's decision on this matter is scheduled for February 2, 2024, as it continues to delve into the complexities surrounding fair dealing and copyright protection in the context of street art and advertising. Street art's evolution. Once dismissed as mere graffiti, street art now intertwines commercial endeavors with messages of political significance. Cities worldwide, including Delhi's Lodi Public Art District, embrace street art as a means to invigorate urban spaces. However, its collaborative nature involving civic agencies doesn't diminish the artist's creative ownership, even in commissioned works. Ownership versus public domain. While street art often resides in the public domain, the original creative effort and ownership primarily belong to the artist. Yogesh Seni from Delhi Street Art emphasizes that being in a public space doesn't warrant free commercial use unless explicitly granted by the artist or commissioning entity. The onus remains on respecting the artist's intellectual rights despite the art's open placement. Disputing this claim, ST Plus Art and Miss Gaetan argued that they hold the copyright to the mural and that Akko's 
utilization of humanity was purely for commercial purposes. The Delhi High Court, in its November 10 ruling, acknowledged the hoarding as an unmistakable advertisement. Subsequently, the court scheduled the case for a hearing in February next year while instructing ACO to remove all online content relating to the mural. This legal confrontation raises significant questions about the copyright protection of street art and the extent to which corporations can use public artworks for promotional endeavours. The court's upcoming decision in this case could set a precedent and establish crucial guidelines for the safeguarding of artistic creations in public spaces. Murals are captivating artworks painted on walls, ranging from Michelangelo's masterpieces to Banksy's iconic creations. They serve as cultural emblems depicting history, traditions and sentiments. In Delhi, the vibrant mural community, notably in the Lodhi Art District, showcases over 65 stunning murals by national and international artists. As the popularity of street art grows, it increasingly finds its way into commercial advertising and social media. Artists now seek to assert their rights over these creations, sparking legal complexities in India regarding intellectual property. According to the India Copyright Act of 1957, murals fall under the definition of artistic work and are protected under copyright law. This grants artists or licensed organizations exclusive rights over reproductions, including their use in films, printed copies, or any other public communication. However, exceptions exist, such as the de minimis doctrine, adding layers of complexity and uncertainty to enforcing these rights within the bounds of the law. The realm of murals intertwines with the concept of moral rights for artists as witnessed in India's legal landscape. Notably, the Delhi High Court's pivotal ruling in Amar Nath Segal v. Union of India and ANR 2005 shed light on the significance of an artist's moral rights. Sehgal, a sculptor, fought for his murals' protection after it was damaged during removal from public display at Vigyan Bhavan. Despite the government's ownership claims, the court recognized the violation of Sehgal's moral rights, awarding him compensation and control over the remaining mural for restoration and resale. In the context of murals used in third-party advertisements, conflicts often arise between artists alleging copyright infringement and advertisers demanding their usage as incidental, especially if the murals are in public spaces. As clarified by Indian copyright law, incidental use or public placement may constitute fair use. However, the commercial aspect involves disputes over uncredited or unpermitted use of murals in films, creatives and ads. This tension impacts artists' incentives to create in public spaces and challenges advertising companies conflicting with statutory fair use exceptions. Balancing these conflicts is crucial considering the cultural significance of murals in rejuvenating historic areas. The level of copyright protection for murals hinges on their location and how they are reproduced, influencing their use from social media selfies to large-scale brand campaigns. The evolving landscape poses intriguing questions about the collision between commercial interests, especially in new age marketing and the artistic expression manifested in murals. Court directs removal of mural content amidst fair dealing concerns. Following a recent hearing in November, Justice Singh directed ECHO to remove all content featuring the mural within 72 hours, labeling the hoarding as an advertisement. Despite this, the crux of the lawsuit revolves around determining whether the defendant's actions qualify as fair dealing under the Copyright Act. Expressing concern, the court highlighted the reproduction of the mural in an advertisement, emphasizing its commercial use and the need to evaluate if it constitutes fair dealing or fair use. Impact of Artworks' Permanency on Legal Judgment A unique aspect of this case involves the presence of copyrighted work in a public space, specifically at Sassoon Docks, a renowned arts festival venue. The clause under Section 52, Subsection 1, Clause T, concerning permanency adds complexity to the copyright aspect, especially regarding public interactions and photography of exhibited artwork. However, temporary delays allow 
owners to object to reproduction and posting potentially necessitating the removal of copies exploring arts eternal impact lessons from literature the st plus art foundation's emphasis on artwork permanency raises thought provoking questions analogous to saki's the background story it evokes contemplation about art's permanence and its implications The tale of a man with a tattooed masterpiece explores the extent of an artwork's impact on its surroundings, shedding light on the boundaries between art, its surroundings, and individual agency. As the court continues its deliberations, this case prompts reflection on the intersection of art, public spaces, and copyright contemplating the depth of an artwork's influence and the rights of those intertwined with it. In conclusion, The legal battle over the mural humanity raises pertinent questions regarding the copyright protection of street art and murals in public spaces. The court's directive to remove content featuring the mural underscores the complexities surrounding fair dealing under copyright law, especially in cases where artwork is prominently featured in commercial advertisements. The interpretation of Section 52, Clause T and U of the Copyright Act 1957 adds nuance to the debate. particularly concerning the permanency of art in public spaces. This provision allows for certain exemptions. permitting the creation of visual reproductions or the inclusion of permanently located artistic works in films under specific circumstances the ongoing case at the delhi high court highlights the delicate balance between artistic expression public accessibility and commercial use providing valuable insights into the evolving landscape of copyright protection for street art and murals As the legal proceedings continue, this case serves as a significant reference point for the intersection of art, public spaces, and intellectual property rights, shaping the future discourse on the subject. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you loved our video on the IP rights regarding street art. We will continue to create interesting and thought-provoking content. Stay tuned and for that you need to like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated